I don't know if I'm going to get answers to this one, but uh, the second question is your asset allocation. Yeah, what are I, you in if you won't give us percentages? Anyway, that's the question. I have um, a global index fund that all in expenses are eight basis points. Eight basis points? All in expense. That's a very small amount for a total expense and to get a world portfolio. And uh, so I have that. I have tips, as you know. I've got one hedge fund. Until eight months ago, I had commercial real estate. I might as well disclose that. It was TIA real estate fund, which I went into for reasons. And I just got very nervous because the real estate fund was kind of going up every day, like a bank account. I mean, it was except with a very nice interest rate. And I think that's valued on the basis of appraisals. So I just got nervous that maybe mark the market might be a good thing to be aware of in times when you're not sure. So I, that's why I got out of commercial real estate. I had some municipal bonds. Oh, yeah, that was another one. I said, well, I've got Massachusetts municipal bonds, and I know Massachusetts is not going to go broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, in uh, any case, as we know, the municipalities are in a great deal of trouble. I don't know what bankruptcy law is for municipalities, but I worry that they're going to see the only way out is what the airlines took and decide the only way to get out of the labor contracts is to go bankrupt. Bob? You're asking the wrong question of, uh, of me. I have never paid any attention. If you ask me what, whatever assets I have, what the allocation is now, I the only honest answer I could give you is I haven't the vaguest idea. And if you had asked me that question at any time in the past 60 years, I could have given you exactly the same answer. Except at the, there must have been a point in time when I had zero assets, and, and then I knew perfectly well. <laughs> But then, of course, it didn't matter. I was uh, it, it didn't matter. <laughs> Your asset allocation? Uh, no comment. Your suggested asset allocation, is it still 50, 25, 25? Well, I'll tell you the most important question that vexes the minds of people like me on the Finance Committee of the National Academy of Sciences is the following. The evidence is overwhelming that a thousand timers try to buy when stocks are low and sell when they're high is a damnably awful record. And it isn't so hard to sell, but you don't know when to get back in. And typically, things move very, very fast in normal cycles when they, when they go back. What should you think when somebody as wise as Alan Greenspan says this is a once-in-a-century event? Should you still, in that case, take in no sale at all? And that's a very hard decision 